my name is uh, Gilles Morin. I am a, a Vice President of Corporate Development with CIA. CIA is an IT service company with uh, six offices, three in Canada and three in France. And uh, we have about 450 employees, mainly focused on application maintenance and development. So I'm responsible for the uh, repositioning of the service offering and our go-to-market strategy in order to enhance our added value to our clients. So I met Alain when I was at Desjardins Financial Group. And at that time, Alain was involved uh, in uh, strategy making uh, with executives. And in my, in my case, I was in charge of the turnaround of a business unit at Desjardins. I had, um, I would say, um, a rather marginal training in strategy and obviously what uh, Martin uh, brought was uh, knowledge and approach and highly structured and I was really uh, uh, interested in knowing more about that but also knowing more about uh, Alain in terms of uh, who he is, how he work and uh, this was very 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 interesting to me that first uh, encounter. So I would say there was chemistry uh, right away and trust, high trust right away with Alain uh, and that's how we started. So the next step was obviously to um, seek Alain's help. Uh, one way uh, was to be able to attend um, Alain's uh, strategy negotiation course and for me this was a big awe moment in terms of uh, realizing what does it mean to strategize and execute on strategy. I realized that uh, there was much more to it than just uh, gut feeling and intuition. And it was uh, a real process and discipline behind it to make sure that the strategy you come up with are validated and grounded uh, in order to maximize the, the execution and the, the benefit. But first, really the first involvement was attending uh, Alain's course. And this is where I decided at the end of that first course to send all my management team. And one of the reasons is that you will find good managers, people that, that are used to manage operations, manage finance, uh, manage human resources, and tactically speaking are alert uh, you know, are really skilled at what they do. When it's time you want to bring them in a strategic discussion, it's very difficult uh, because people will, um, people tend to mix the difference between what's tactical and operational and what's strategy. And for me, um, Alain's competencies and the tool that Alain's providing was helping my management team to learn to do strategy and speak strategy. And then after that, I'm able to, when I sit down with them and we're starting uh, thinking about uh, the midterm, the long term, the repositioning, our challenge, our level of discussion is changing. The approach we're taking is changing. And this is one of the involvement uh, that uh, I had first involvement with my line. And, and like I said, the idea was to bring my management team, and each time I would take a new assignment, I would change management team, I would bring them up and uh, send them. So we could then, after that, work at the same level with the same definition and same approach in terms of making strategy happen. Well, um, after Desjardins, uh, I, um, I went to export <laughs> development and I was hired as e-commerce VP and then I moved on to be IT services uh, uh, VP and then in charge of their first uh, innovation center in um, financial services associated to the automation of supply chain. Uh, and in these assignment there's always moments when you are looking at the future, you've done your reading, you've done your homework, you look at your capacity at hand, but then you look at the future and say, okay, how can I play that future to create better benefits? And it's also helpful to have 
to be able to sit down with a strategist that doesn't know your your environment, if I may say something like that, but bring a way of thinking uh, that that really each time push you out of the box, okay, or help you reframe. And in strategy, in most time, it's about reframing. This is where your strategy gets higher value. For instance, in assignment, when I was at EDC, um, I would sit down with Alain and say, Alain, okay, here's the situation, here's what I read, what do you read, what do you think? And each time, that frame of, that way of thinking, of looking at things for me, would bring high value again, because it would, it would force reframing, it would force thinking outside the box, it would give you a fresh view. But not only that, this is the first step in strategies, look at things differently, see things, or putting things together in a way that other people do not do it, okay, or are not able to do it. But then it's all about execution, and that's as important as the strategy itself. I like to say that the quality of your strategy is as good as the quality of your business intelligence, okay? In that sense, uh, the knowledge of Alain in, in, in uh, commercial intelligence, counterintelligence, and market intelligence brings an added value right into that equation because it, it beef up, it, it does add value to your uh, reading commercial intelligence and therefore have a direct impact on the quality of your strategy. Now, the other side of the coin is I have a good strategy, I need to execute on it. And that's the other side where we fell in. Um, in our discussion, it would bring um, tactics or approach on execution that for me would, would really help in, 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 in and seeing things and how we could execute it more efficiently or differently. Again, because when you get into a company, you are used to, to, to think and act with regard to the existing culture, the way people think, the way people do things. And sometimes you get blindsided by that. You may forget some execution elements because you're just trapped in the context, in the way decisions are made and the way things are done. Sitting down with Alain will bring me value is on the execution. Because right now I'm thinking incrementally. That's fine, but sometimes you just can't. You have to break the thinking on the execution strategy. Okay? And this is where Alain also helped me to, to think outside the box and see different execution avenues I would have not thought of.